guys, how are you? This is Agnes Yu and welcome to um, beginners home workout. Okay, so today's this lesson, the level is totally for beginners, all right? Or people who got injury at shoulder joints or knees. So no jumping, no squats at all, okay? So absolutely friendly to everybody, all age group. So feel free to share it with your friends and family and colleague, okay? So sharing is caring, all right? So what you need to have for the workout is just a mat or a floor if you want to go <laughs> hardcore. I know, I, I mean like um, there's some uh, core workout on the floor, but um, it's absolutely, you can do it without a mat easily. So don't worry about it. If you have a mat, use it. If you don't, that's fine, okay? And some water at the side and then you're all set to go. All right, let's start with some warm-up first, okay? So, easy, marching on the spot, okay? You can do it on the mat or sleeping on the floor, it doesn't matter, okay? And try not to be awkward, all right? You just imagine it's like a normal jogging and try not to do left hand, left arm, all right? So, take it easy. And make sure you're really swinging your elbows to the back, yeah? Yeah? All right, if you feel good, you can go a little bit faster. I'll stay in this space, up to you, all right? Just get your heart rate up a little bit, get your body all warm, and prepare for your exercises. Okay, next one we're going into stepping jacks, side to side, in four, three, two, one. Okay, start with your left, and right, and left, yeah. Fully extend your legs, okay? And softly tap on the mat. And at the same time, bring your arm, um, arms up and down. Great. And of course, keep breathing all the time. Yes, easy. And make sure you're lifting your chest up, okay? Not rounding the shoulder. Yeah? And keep your neck long, shoulder down. Nice. Four, three, and we go body twist. Okay, so slightly go into a half squat position. I know, there's no squat, right? I know, I know, but this is only half, all right? So it's up to you. So stand to to the back, slightly bend your knees. Okay, hands on your shoulder, and then slowly turn side to side. Okay, all right, here. Yeah. It's a good twisting, stretching for your upper spine as you sit down in the home office for a long time, right? It's absolutely amazing workout. Okay, now you can stand up and bring your elbows out at shoulder level and do the twisting. Yeah, slow, nice and easy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And twist it with your shoulder and head. Okay. And four, three, two. Okay, let's warm up the arms a little bit. Start with your left arm. So roll your elbows back, yeah, and try to keep your upper body square, okay? Not doing like that, okay? Yeah. Upper body square, only moving your arms. Rotate it to the back, and if you feel alright, or you don't have any shoulder issue or shoulder pain, try to bring the whole arms up to a big circle on the side. Yes, great. Okay, other side. So start easy with the shoulder roll. And bend your elbows and roll the arms to the back. Okay, good. If you feel good, then raise your arms up. And do a big circle to the side. Okay, let's switch again. This time go forward with the shoulder roll. Okay, super. And um, if you feel alright, then bring the whole arms in. Okay, last one for the arms. Roll it forward. With the shoulder, elbows, and bring in the whole arm. <laughs> All right, next. So I need you to interlock your fingers at the back of your body. All right, and stretch your arms out and lift your chest up. Okay, in this position, I need you to stretch your shoulder over the chest. So we are bringing up your arm in three, two, one. Lift it up. We're the breathing out. Exhale. Stay here. Breathe out again. Excellent. Try to go as high as possible. Okay. I'm a little bit stiff on my shoulder, so usually you're able to go higher than me. All right. 
and relax. Now I want you to use your right arm to grab your left elbow at the back. Okay? So your arm is super close to your body, right? Okay, now I want you to tilt your head to the side and switch and switch. So you can feel a very good stretch on your neck and shoulder. And remember to keep your chin up. That's good. All right, and other side. Oh, actually, it's really good. All right, so check your shoulder back. Yeah, you're gripping your right elbow now. Chest up and keep your head side to side. Keep, keep your eyes forward, all right? Yes, nice. Go, go. And four, three, two, one. All right, easy. So let's get down to the mat and ready for the last warm up. Okay, super easy, easy. So left leg at the front, right leg at the back. Great. And relax your back foot. You don't have to step into the floor, just to the flat. And shift your hips forward. Nice and easy. Okay, bring your arms up. Okay, push your shoulder forward. Yes, good arms to the back. Keep to the front. Okay, let's do a little bit dancing here. Okay, push it forward. Forward, yes. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now let's stay still. Just shift your hips to the back and bring the toes up. Use your hands to support yourself and face down to your knees. So you feel a very good stretching at the back of your leg. Let's do some bouncing here as well. Okay, down and down and down and down. Two, one. All right, let's go for the other side. So slowly bring your right leg to the front. Okay, no rush or wait for you. Okay, ready? Okay, relax your back leg and push your hip forward. Raise your arms up. Okay, ready, go, push it forward. One, two, three, four, two more. Okay, ready, send your hip back. Toes up, head down, extend your knees. Okay, ready, go, we bounce it down. Down, 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 and four, three, Two, one. Okay, good. Easy, right? I promise that. All right, good. So one more step. Let's go into the workout right now. All right, let's go into the workout parts. And this uh, lesson, we have two parts. Each part, we have three exercises and we do three rounds, okay? And no worries, everything is slow and under control and then we have some uh, option for you, okay? If you can't do it, we have option two. So everything is uh, beginner friendly. All right, start with the first one first, okay? So keep your legs together, arms together, and then open it to the side and close again, okay? Other side and close. Open arm, open legs and close, okay? It's similar to your jump jack, but we do the stepping one. Okay. And when you get used to it, you can speed up a little bit, okay? And open, close, open, close, and step, and step. And make sure you keep your palms up, okay? So your upper arms are external rotated, yeah? And drop your shoulder, no stress on your shoulder. Keep your neck long, eyes forward, keep breathing, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale, nice. Easy, right? Yeah. And four, three, two, one. Okay, go for the marching. And this time, I need you to bring your knees up, up to your hip level, all right? Yes, good. It's the same. If you do good, you can go faster, okay? Do it at your own pace. No rush, no pressure. Yes. Yeah. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. At the same time, please keep your body upright so you're not like rounding your back, leaning forward, okay? Knees up, chest up. Yes, good. Look super energetic and super proud of yourself. You're doing this at home. No excuse. Yeah, it goes in four, three, two, one. Okay, exercise three, elbows up, 
I need you to squeeze your shoulder blade, squeeze your upper back to bring the elbows behind your body and return. Okay, so we do elbows back, return, elbows back, return. Okay, focus on your shoulder blade. Yes, good. And your body can lean side to side when you open your chest. Yes, good. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Yes, yes. Wow, the music is a little bit too relaxing. <laughs> All right, I promise you, next time I'll pick a better playlist. Yes, and four, and three, and two, and one. All right, so go back to the exercise one. You remember that one? Feet together, arms together. Open it to the side, and close your body, okay? And then step to the right. And together. Ready? Let's go faster this time. Open, close, open, close. Yes, good. Nice. Good. Yeah, make sure you check your shoulder again, all right? A lot of people I've seen in my class, they always shrink their shoulder up. Yes. If your shoulder is way too tight, that also affecting your neck. That's why you always have that neck and shoulder pain. You have to let it go. Yes, good. Super. And four, three, two, okay. Go back to the marching, marching on the spot. Okay, in this round, I need you to go faster, knees up. Yes, good, good, excellent. Yeah, it is getting faster now. Make sure you breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Excellent, yes, good. Okay, a bit faster, faster. And don't forget your arms is a whole body exercise. Swing your arms all the way to the front, all the way to the back, okay? Don't be lazy. Great. Okay, and four, three, two, one. Okay, the third one. So elbows back, right? And this time, I need you to kick, when we lean to the left, kick your right leg to the back. So it's kind of working on your hamstring and then stretching on the quad at the same time. Monkey task, two in one. Okay, kick back, kick back, elbow back and back, and kick your legs. Elbows back, elbows back. Whew. That's good. And don't drop your elbows, keep it up, and show the last elbow. That's good. Go, ouch, I just kick on the wall. Whew. Yeah, because my lifting room is not that big, you know, so I have to do like way behind it. I also have to proper distance with the camera. Yeah, that's it. Feel good? Yeah, if you're happy, you can stay at this speed. If you want, you can go a bit faster, okay? Kick back, kick back, and kick, and open chest, open chest. Yeah, super nice. You got it right? It's not too difficult. This one is totally for beginner. Yeah, great. And four. Three, two, one. Okay, last round. You are happy a little bit already? Nice, well done, good job. Last round, the same. Okay, we do the open and close stepping jack. Okay, you're familiar with the movement first, okay? Ready, and now we go fast. Open, close, open, close, yes. Yeah. And in my workout, I want to challenge you. Yes, so we have something different in each round, right? And this last round, I want you to do your heels up. Heels up, drop, heels up, drop. Yes, good, when you open, heels up, nice. Good. So you can train your calf muscle at the same time. But if you're not good or you have some issue at your ankle, just let it, do the normal one, okay? Open, down, heels up, yes, yeah, super dramatic, <gasps> yeah, open, chest up, it's okay, no body cares, just do the homework, uh, home exercise at home, you can be drama queen, right, yeah, open, close, and four, three, two, one, okay, marching, marching on the spot, yes, last round, Keep the speed up. Breathe in, breathe out. 
you gotta keep moving and go, go, go. All right, if you don't have any shoulder issue in this round, you can bring the arms up, okay? Arms up. Yes, good. Super. Yeah, almost getting to the left hand leg. Right? <laughs> yeah, single core, the next, okay? Yeah, bring your right knee up and left hand up. Left hand, right leg. Right hand, left leg. Or just don't think too much, okay? Sometimes if you think too much, you can't really do it. Just let it go and be natural. Your body will do the work. Yes, good. And four, three, two, one. Woo! Yes, okay. Do so remember the third one? Elbows back and kick your leg. Okay, kick your leg towards your butt. Yeah, okay, let's go. Kick and kick and kick and elbows back. Open chest, yes, yeah. Go and go. All right, in the last round, I want to challenge you a little bit, okay? So we do double kick on each side and four, three, two, one, go. Kick, kick, switch, kick, kick, switch, kick, kick, switch, kick, kick, left leg, go, 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 excellent. So drop your arms, I can see you. Yes, good. And start feeling your shoulder, right? And up the back. Go, go, and four. Come on, you can do it, that's three. And two, and one. Okay, good job, brother. Part one is done, okay? Now we move on to part two on the mat. Okay, now get back to the beginner's home workout part two. Okay, it's the same as part one. We have three exercises and we do it three rounds. Okay, everything is on the floor. So get yourself ready. Okay, the first one, we do the floor toes tap. Okay, get down on your back. Great. So relax your arms next to your body. Okay, and turn your palms up. So your upper arm is kind of external rotated and prevents you to use your hands to help with the workout. Okay, so palms up and lift your heels up. It's like a high heel shoes situation right now. Before we start, I need you to tilt your hip up. So your lower back is on the floor, right? And the tailbone is up. Great. And by that time, you feel a little bit tense already. Okay, start with the left leg. Okay, bring the left leg up, knee to your chest, and down, and switch, and switch. Yeah, we do it alternatively. Yes, good. And make sure you don't go too tense on your feet, okay? Otherwise, you go a little bit cranky on your feet. Yes, good, just relax a bit. Yeah, good. Bring your knees towards your chest. Arms um, stay relaxed. Tailbone is still up. Yes, good. Lower back is pressing down. Nice. Keep going. And left. And right. And left. And right. Super. Yes, good. Four more to go. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, now we can roll over. And get down on your front. Overlap your hands together. And rest your head on top and make sure you're not supporting your body with your elbow. Just let it go, okay? Elbow three, okay? Go down. Okay, separate your knee, shoulder width apart, keep your heels together. So now my butt is kind of a relaxing, like jello, all right? And now I need you to squeeze your heels together and tense up your butt. Okay, and relax. Okay, breathe out, squeeze your heels together, tense up your glutes, and relax, breathe out, and in. So squeezing your heels here together, right? Okay, breathe out, Whew. and relax, and out, and in, okay? And make sure when you're doing it, when you're squeezing your heels, tense up your, your butt, at the same time, your hip is pressing down into the mat, okay? Then four, and three, and two, and one, perfect. So the last one, we're going to do an arm open Superman, okay? Or Superwoman, okay? All right, so open your arms, set your shoulder down, 
because this is really good for people who have shoulder issue because they can't really reach for the overhead position, right? So open your arms, relax your legs, and draw your arms up and down, and up and down, and check your arms is around your shoulder level. Okay, not too high, not too low. Yes, good. And breathe out and out. Yes, good. Ooh. If you can, try not to touch the floor with your hands. Okay, it's always stay up. And flying up, and look at the floor. So keep your spine in a neutral position. And four, and three, and two, and one. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, round two. Start from the beginning. Okay, ready? So get down on your back. So we're going to do a floor toe tap. Okay, relax your arms. Keep your feet together. Ready? Go and left. Return, right, return, great. Yeah, this time I do a better playlist, so the music is not that slippy. <laughs> okay, left, right, perfect. Okay, if you can go a bit faster this time, okay? And right, yeah, great. Faster, faster, and try not to go back to the ground. Just bring your feet together after you do the crunch. Yes, get left, right, left, right. Yes. After every lift, keep your feet together. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Okay, great. Whoops, almost. <laughs> okay, get. Okay. Exercise two, you're squeezing using your foot. Okay, overlap, overlap your hand, rest your head on it. I'm gonna squeeze, and this time I need you to bring your knees up. Okay, squeeze and knees up, relax. Fly your knees up, relax. That's good. Combine with the breathing. Breathe out and in. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And four, relax your upper body. Three. Two, one. Okay, open on Superman. Okay, ah, set your shoulder down. Okay, this time I need you to lift your legs up as well. Okay, stretch your arms wide open. Open up your fingers as well. And fly, and fly, and go, go. And focus on your upper back, not using your body to fly up. Okay, just your upper back. Great. Go, go. Go, lovely. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Okay. Woo. Nice. Okay, last round to go. Just stay with me. Try not to pause the videos. Okay, I'm watching you. Okay, great. Okay, back to the toes tap. Get on your back. Ready? Feet together and left, right. Oh yeah, we have to lift it off from the ground, right? Left, right. Okay, this time try to do both knees. Up, up, up. Yes, good. When you bring your when you bring your knees up, breathe out, out, in, out, in, out, in, and four, and three, and two. And one. Whew. Okay, get. Okay, back to the facing down. Work on the glutes. Work on the sexy butt. Yes, get. Okay, hands together, face down. Okay, this time it's the same. Bring your knees up. Okay, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Whew. I know it's difficult, but try to relax your upper body, especially your arms. Don't get too involved with your elbows. Okay, up, up, squeeze, squeeze, and four, three, two, one. Okay, last one to go. Okay, this one you can do the same as part two, legs up and fly your arms. And if you want, you can do the kicking at the same time. Okay, up to you. Ready? Up, down, up, down. Keep your legs straight and kick. Kick and kick and kick and kick. Arms up, down, up, down, 
Arms up. Arms up. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. Look at your mat. Look down. Look down. Excellent. Last four, three, two, one. Okay, great. Ooh. So how do you feel? That's it for the home workout for beginner. Feel good, right? So let me know how you feel about it. Give me some feedback or comments, and I can make it better for the next video for the beginner workout. Okay, stay active, stay healthy. All right, bye.